Best value play in this showdown is who, Jeff? Yeah, I mean, a guy I know Pierce is probably going to talk about, but I'm going to talk about him too because he's just too good a value. It's Rondale Moore. Um, this is a player who obviously, like a few games ago, you know, had, had a bunch of targets, but he still played over 40% of the snaps with all of the Rams receiving options viable. Um, I, I, that's really good. That's really healthy. And, and again, like, I, I just like targeting the, the Arizona Cardinals receivers here because I, I think that the Cardinals are going to have to pass the ball in this game. I, I don't think that, I think that the Rams are going to put pressure on them. And, and, and I think you're going to see more than 15 pass attempts. So, you know, ipso facto, I have to like some of these cheaper, cheaper um, Arizona Cardinals receivers. And more as a play at 2,000. I mean, it's just, it's just too cheap. I mean, AJ Green more than double the salary. People are going to gravitate towards him, I assume. But I don't know how many people will actually, you know, necessarily jump on him here. Like, I'm not expecting massive chalk ownership. So, um, Rondale Moore has got to be the top value there for me at 2,000. All right, Pierce, you're going to talk about the same guy. I'm also going to be on Rondell Moore, and you really can't go wrong with any of these cheap value receivers. The game has, what, a 51 and a half over under. Both these teams routinely score around 30 fantasy points, and we usually come on here and we chase a touchdown. If I'm a cheap player, you can do that. But also with Moore, you can also chase that big play, even if he doesn't get in the end zone. He probably likely will get in the end zone. you got a Rams team that ranks 26th in yards after the catch, 19th in missed tackles. That sets up, you know, that possible big game-changing play. Now, I am a little worried that he's going to draw some Jalen Ramsey coverage, but they'll use him, you know, in a gadget type of maneuver, or they'll try to get him in open space. And really, if you're chasing the big play, who else would you go with on this slate at this price? So, more will be my guy. Okay, who is your guy for value, Matty? Yeah, I mean, this is the guy for value. It's Rondell Moore. I don't necessarily like the play for tournament. So if you're playing cash games, I actually think putting more at captain is probably the right way to go because then you can just fit more of the studs in this game. But for GPPs, like he's going to be insanely popular. And the reason that this is different than maybe a typical 2K value play is that we have Stafford and Murray and Cup and Michelle who all look really good. And if you want to fit at least two or three of those guys, Moore is really the only player in this team that makes that all work. So I do think he's going to be insanely popular, could potentially be the highest owned player in this entire game. Um, so he is the value play, but I do like the idea of looking to DeAndre Hopkins or Christian Kirk as pivots off of him and maybe just building a different kind of lineup for tournaments. But as far as like a cash game value play, he's very obviously the top guy.